and the methodology, the epistemology applied is often referred to as hermeneutics. And this comes from a Greek word, hermes, a messenger between the gods and, and the mortals, somebody who can explain to the mortals the meaning of the divine, of the sublime. sublime. The two-culture dichotomy has been very problematic, this whole sort of science and art or science and the humanities, however you want to slice it. Um, I think there, it's, I agree with Luis that they are not the same enterprise, but they have the same or similar motivations. And I think I am much more comfortable thinking of science, art, humanistic pursuits, social sciences, you know, all sort of different, there are different lenses to engage with the world and provide explanations. Explanations. So there isn't the idea of one explanation, there are multiple explanations. Our senses are such that we can appreciate the three dimensions, but not more. We can appreciate that one can involve a time dimension in this, because we need to go beyond our senses. If, we are, if there are seven different uh, dimensions, two different time dimensions, how are we going to do So I think in this, uh, there are a lot of possible meeting points between arts and, and the sciences. William Blake, who of course was a contemporary of Beethoven, said, art and science cannot exist but by naked beauty displayed. And there cannot be truth without beauty, and there cannot be beauty without truth. That's, um, and it may not be infringed by um, corruption of any sort. Um, that differentiates art and science from what you call the real world, you know, the doings and doings. In doings, we, uh, in, in the practical world, we try to reach a result. And in the pursuit of results, we have to, more often than not, do compromises between beauty and truth. Art and science uh, have um, a different language of expressing beauty and truth, uh, for uh, very uh, poetically put it. In art, and I mean generally all forms of artistic expression, uh, aim at producing new sensory organizations, new structures that have not existed before. Um, and in that sense, uh, I would like to remind you of uh, the role that magic used to have in earlier societies. Uh, magic was something that was incomprehensible that allowed changing an existing reality, um, not necessarily by adding new elements, but just by changing the way we look at phenomena, we look at things. One quick comment I have is that you know, I've been associated with science and, and mathematics most of my career. Um, I don't see that it's any less artistic than so-called art. Uh, I do see, uh, I thought your comments, by the way, about hermeneutics were just lovely, that it's bringing meaning and messages from the gods to the mortals. Uh, I think most scientists are motivated not by finding facts <coughs> or by proving facts. In fact, most of us are sophisticated enough to know that there's no such thing as facts. The, these so-called facts play out in a set of meanings that we have created about our world, and we are telling stories, very sophisticated stories, and stories that are perfectly data-based and replicable, but nonetheless, this is every bit as much uh, writing narrative as uh, doing painting would be or writing a book.